Inmate MVFX 637 report to the Rehabilitation Center for your session. Stand still. Scan complete. Artificial intelligence recognized. Your session will begin momentarily. Please relax and enjoy this simulated experience of freedom. You have one minute of life outside. It is encouraged to use this time to think about what you've done and consider a restyle of your existence. M Restyle 2 is here to help. Inmate MVFX 637, your session has now ended. Report back to your cell immediately. Now, on to the tutorial. Hello, this is George Edmondson with MotionVFX.com. Today we are looking at M Restyle 2. Once you've installed Emery Style 2 via M Installer, it can be located in your titles. Emery Style 2 comes with multiple title layers. They do all work as adjustment layers. There is a category for artistic with 14 of those, distortion with 13, tech with 12, and vintage with 11, totaling 50 unique presets that come with Emery Style 2 that can be used again as adjustment layers or even as transitions and I will show you how to do that as well. So with our first scene we are using the free M adjustment layer just to get some color grading over our composited shot and a bit of blurring and now we will just go ahead and jump right into creating the look that we want. In our intro we first started off with the artistic six look. If you'd like to get a real-time preview of some of the looks that these are going to give simply hover over you will get a quick preview of the M Restyle 2 preset before applying. Now in this first one we did use artistic six. I'm simply going to click and drag and bring that in over top of my first clip. If I would like to adjust the length, I can grab the handles and adjust the length accordingly. And with Artistic 6 selected, we can go over into our inspector in our title options and you can see all of the published parameters. Now we do have animations in and out and then we have our levels that we can toggle on and off. I do want to keep those on because I am going to use this to make a little bit of a grade. Moving down we have colorization, we can toggle on and off as well. And then we have our glint and all of the parameters beneath along with our zoom. So you can see here that the animation in is just kind of giving a little bit of that look and there's a subtle zoom there if we wanted to zoom in more simply drag up and you will see that is reflected. Let's toggle that off. Now I would like to use my levels to bring my blacks in down a bit and my blacks out up a bit just so we are getting a little bit more of the overall scene there. And then you can also see beneath my colorization, we do have the saturation. I'm going to toggle that off so I can get that color grade back in my scene. And you can already see what this is doing. It's giving this nice glow going on back here. And those are our glint and glint exposure parameters there. So it's very subtle how we are using this artistic six, but it really ties this scene together as it is obviously a green screen and composited shot. Now the next M Restyle 2 preset that we used was distortion number one. So we can click and drag this in beneath and we are going to just bring that over to adjust the size and length 
and you can see that it is quite strong here so why don't we go ahead and make some changes over in our inspector again animations in and out and then we have our glitch which is kind of the primary thing this is doing i really like this but i'm going to bring this down a little bit more to about 0 0.05 just so that it is very subtle we then have our glitch mix and all of our adjustable parameters here. We have a map offset animation. We have our effects opacity. And you can see how that is making some adjustments. And adjustable parameters just go on for days in this distortion one. It's pretty amazing. We also have the overall contrast there at the bottom if you wanted to just do an overall contrast look. Now you will notice that my color grade has kind of gone away. If you scroll down, you can find in your effects too, you also have this hue saturation. I'm going to just toggle that off so that I get my color grade back. And now we have this glitchy effect. It's a little bit blurry. We've got some noise going on, but my color is still true to my scene. All right, so moving on to our next clip, you can see I already have an adjustment layer here that already has my grade applied. Now we are also using the distortion one. We're gonna be using that a lot because it really ties all of the video together. Since it is working as an adjustment layer, I can simply click and drag to come down. And now we still have that distortion and that little bit of grading and stuff that we had done on this one applied really good now you'll notice that i do a little bit of a reaction there and that is because we are going to be using our tech number nine preset that you can see here kind of a scan line it's really cool so let's click and drag that in i am going to adjust the timing on this so that it does move a little bit faster and you can see that that scan line just kind of comes in. Now, because I am moving over to my left there and we have our scan line moving in the opposite direction, I'd like to change that. So over in our inspector, we can just go to our scan line range and then their scan line direction. And I'm going to toggle that off. And now it will be moving from the opposite direction, which is exactly what I wanted. That looks really cool. As we go down in our inspector, you have a wide variety of adjustable parameters that you can really fine tune this look and make it your own. Then we also have this bulge. So I want you to see on our animation in. There's a little bit of a push there and that is our bulge. And then there's a push back out. Now for this, because it is supposed to just kind of be seeing me uh, through maybe like a camera or something like that, we're just gonna turn that off. And then you can see that there is no bulge happening. It just comes in, there's our scan. I'm going to move this down just a little bit to better retime it. And boom, there we go. Scan complete artificial intelligence recognized, and then I move into the next scene. So you'll notice that I have two clips here. I have a rotoed out, this is pre-rotoscoped, and I just imported it as its own clip with an alpha channel. So I'm going to deselect this bottom so you can see there's Roto George, and then there's the regular clip here. Now, the idea with this is we are seeing some sort of a security camera footage and we are using the distortion one effect again. So we are going to hold off on that though because we do make some changes. We are using vintage number three and I'm going to bring this in and I want you to see how it's affecting everything, but I'm actually going to sandwich this in between and now we have the rotoed version of me right there and you can see how clean that looks. Again, this is intentional. Let me readjust the timing. I'm going to go over in my Vintage 3 super quickly and I'm going to turn off my animation in and out. You can make adjustments here down at the bottom if you would like and you can also set this to colorize. So if you wanted to colorize your footage, you can do so here. 
Now, I don't want to colorize this. I actually want to desaturate this. And there's a really, really easy way to do that if you don't have a desaturation or color grading options inside of your title that's perfectly fine again these are adjustment layers so i'm actually going to go over to my color inspector and go to saturation and i'm just going to bring that down and you can see now everything is desaturated aside from the rotoed version of me now the next thing i want to do is add the distortion now in this case i'm going to command c and command v and let me adjust this here so now you can see that that is adjusting all of the clip which isn't quite what i want to have happen just yet i also am going to add the artistic two and i want you to notice that this is really great because this shows that you can stack these right so i'm stacking everything together in artistic two i'm going to go over to my title and again, you've got all of these beautiful, wonderful parameters that can make things look as awesome as you want. We're not gonna go over every single one of them because we have a lot to cover. So the idea here is that there's obviously something going on with this guy, this person that I'm playing. And the concept is basically that he is artificial intelligence and he's locked away. So I want to only show that there's a difference between him and between the footage of the security camera. So I'm going to highlight all of these. Option G to create a compound clip. And then you can see that it is only affecting that rotoed version, which is really, really cool. Now the look is a bit harsh, so I'm just going to really quickly bring my opacity down just a bit on everything so that now we've got not such a hard looking effect going on, but we are seeing that something is going on here. There is obviously something very different with this person. All right, now moving down into the next section. This is where the AI version of George has opened his eyes and he is seeing the real world. So you can see it's a pretty dull and basic clip, but we're gonna make it look awesome with several layered titles here. So first we are going to use our artistic 14. So let's just click and drag and bring this in. And you can see what that's doing, kind of giving this crazy looking fiery glow going on. Now with this one, I am going to turn off my animation in, but I'm going to leave animation out on because I'm kind of, my eyes are adjusting is the concept here. And I'm going to bring this down a bit so that once I have adjusted my eyes, it just kind of animates out. And then there you go, I'm opened up to the real world. We also used Artistic 7, so we are going to click and drag this in. We are going to do the same amount of timing there. We are going to do the same thing. We are going to turn animation in off and leave the animation out on so that now both things are being affected. Again, you've got all kinds of parameters here to make this thing look great. So now let's see how that is looking some crazy effects and then boom, something happens and we're good to go. We also used our distortion number two. So we will drag that in and do the same sort of thing. And this one is really cool because it's got this crazy looking outline there. Over in our inspector, I'm going to turn off the animation in, leave animation out on. And with this one, I bring it back and I let it actually go a little bit longer. So, because I really like that effect. So here we go, we see those go out and then I've kind of woken up and you can see that there's this bulge animation going out as if my eyes are adjusting. So that's over here in our bulge section. So you can toggle that on and off. I really like it for this one, really, really neat. And then the final thing we used was distortion number eight, which we are going to leave on the entirety of the clip. And let's go ahead and turn off animation in and out. And then you can see what's going on. So we have this happening kind of crazy that goes away and then boom now the real world to this AI version of George this is how he sees it 
and over in this inspector is quite a lot. If you wanted to color grade the entire video with distortion number eight, you absolutely could if you wanted because you have your color wheels option here and you have every parameter that you can think of. So let's continue down. Now in these clips, we did have distortion eight over the rest of these. So I'm going to just actually drag these on every single one of them so that they are now affecting the rest of my real world experience here. Now you can see that I used a jump cut and this is where I'm showing you how to use these a little bit as a transition, which is really neat. I'm going to zoom in to my timeline here just a bit. Over this cut, I used distortion number one. Now remember, we're using distortion eight and distortion one throughout this entire video. And it's almost like a remembering of the digital world that I come from. And you can see here what it's going to do, how it's kind of making this glitchiness. Now, what I want to do is use my blade. I'm going to just cut this. Let's get rid of the ending here. And I'm gonna trim this to make it really, really short. I'm going to turn off animation in and out. And I want you to kind of watch what happens. So boom, there it goes. There's the cut and then boom. Now, if you play this back in real time, it's a really cool distortion sort of transition that we have over this hard cut. Awesome. Moving down to our final clip here we still have the distortion number eight these highlights and we do a bit of a hard cut let me bring that back down and that is my adjustment layer for color grading and boom there's another hard cut so we're doing another bit of a transition here between these two scenes so on this final version we of course did have distortion number one already happening over top of our kind of glitchy digital version of George. I'm going to turn off the animations in and out. So we are using our artistic 14 as a bit of a transition here. I'm going to go ahead and make this happen over top of both of our footages. So you can see here that this comes in and it's almost like a flash and then boom, there we go, transitioned into the next scene. And there's the old glitchy version. And I'm gonna leave the glitches really harsh at this point because we're trying to understand that he's waking back up in the real world for him, which is a digital world. And over on our inspector, we can make a lot of changes now because we really want to make it look as though this real this real digital world is really, really different from the real world that you and I would see being real human beings. Assuming you're a real human being, you might be AI, I don't know. And once you've made all of those adjustments to your titles, this is the result that you can get. Now remember there are 50 of these and we only went over a few, so we can't wait to see what you can come up with with Emery Style 2, which is now available on motionvfx.com. Be sure to subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.